Alrighty, last up um, is our target number 10, calculate the enthalpy change for a given reaction using Hess's law. Hess's law is absolutely awesome. Um, I kind of, I've decided this year that I'm going to call it the girl law um, because then we can manipulate the equations to do what we want them to do. I know that's kind of tacky, but it's funny anyway. Um, because enthalpy is an extensive property, we can manipulate it and do things to the equation and then that subsequently will alter the enthalpy. Um, so for instance, if you need to reverse the equation, then you just change the sign from positive to negative or negative to positive, whichever it was before. Um, if you have to double the reaction, then you double the enthalpy. If you have to half the reaction, then you half the enthalpy. So for exercise number 20, we have this goal equation in mind where we want 4 aluminum plus 3 MnO2 yields 2 Al2O3 and 3 manganese. And we have to use these two equations that someone has already found the values for, manipulate them to get the final equation. So what I'm looking at here is I see initially that I have 4 aluminum and I see in my first equation that I have 4 aluminum. So that's a very good sign. For the time being, I'm going to leave equation 1 alone. Then I see that I have 3 MnO2. I see MnO2 in my second equation, but I see it as a product and I only see one mole of it. So what I need to do to this equation is I need to reverse its direction and multiply it by 3. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as I rewrite the equation. So first of all, flip the equation, MnO2 yields Mn plus O2, and then multiply the value by 3, so 3 moles for each, because they were all 1 mole before. And then I also need to multiply the value of this by 3 and change the sign. So negative 521 becomes 521, and when I multiply that by 3, that tells me that the enthalpy for that reaction is now 1563. So times that by 3 and reverse the sign. If I go back to the original equations that I had over here, I've now changed this around. The goal is that anything that's on both sides, much like when we did um, redox and the half reactions, if anything was present on both sides, we could cancel it out. So we see here that we have the four aluminum. Next, I come to three oxygen. We don't want any oxygen in our net equation, so I also note that I have three oxygen down here. Those can cancel out. Then I also have three MnO2 because I switched that reaction around, two Al2O3, and three manganese. So basically all I've done is combine those two equations. Since I've combined those two equations, I can take these two values and add them together. So then the delta H is going to be negative 3352 plus 1563 And that gives me a delta H of negative 1789 kilojoules for that reaction. Okay, so again, it's exothermic. All right, good luck.